At the corner of University and Hester sits a powerful one-two punch for the music department at Oklahoma State. Of course, the McKnight Center for the Performing Arts hosts top-tier performances like the New York Philharmonic, and now the Greenwood School of Music will be connected to the McKnight Center to create an unparalleled learning environment for music students at OSU. Well, really, when it comes down to it, it's because of exceptional leadership here at Oklahoma State University. One of the things I have to say, uh, being part of the OSU community, is just how fortunate I feel to have all the alumni who invest themselves into our program. It's really very special, and that was certainly the case here for the School of Music. Associate Director of the Greenwood School of Music, Brant Adams, gave us a sneak peek at the new facility. So what we have here is one of the larger faculty offices. The um, louder the instrument, the larger the, the office needs to be. One of the biggest improvements in the new building is the ability to suppress and dampen vibrations. The pads on the subfloor do exactly that. Okay, so we're very excited about this space. This is going to be our in-house recording studio. All of the rehearsal spaces in the building will be connected to this facility so that if the orchestra, for example, needs to record something down in the large re rehearsal hall or the choir, whatever, uh, all of that signal will be processed in through to this control room uh, so, that, so that we can get just the very best quality recording. This room has also opened up a new music industry program. So this is a space we're, we're very excited about and um, it's probably the most relevant to our students. And this, what you're looking at in this space will be a suite of practice rooms. There will be about 25 practice rooms of various sizes for ensembles and individuals. Just like every space in the building, the practice rooms will be acoustically treated so you can't hear anything from room to room. Right, so we're entering one of our three large rehearsal rooms. This is specifically the choral rehearsal hall um, where choirs of various sizes will rehearse. You can kind of get a sense of how high these ceilings are and that's why, of course, uh, there's not a lot on the second floor because the top half of this room is, is, is up there for all kinds of acoustical reasons. Adam said these rooms probably have gotten the most acoustical attention of all the rooms in the Greenwood School of Music. They have slanted walls to avoid parallel surfaces so there's not sound bouncing back and forth. There will be curtains along the top that are adjustable depending on how reverberant or how dead you want the room to be. From the student lounge here, you can kind of see right here, there's a set of double doors and that moves directly into the, into the uh, back of the McKnight Center. Students will use the recital hall in the McKnight Center and the Greenwood School of Music has direct access to the McKnight Center. Having the McKnight Center here uh, with the kind of events that they pull in will give our students an experience that they really would They'd have to be in L.A. or New York or some, some large city like that to have the opportunity. I think of just two people who are just absolutely invested in this university. It's Mike and Ann. Uh, they inspire me to be a better leader. I, I just can't tell you how proud I am that the namesake of the program, Greenwood, um, is how we affiliate ourselves. Greenwood School of Music makes me very proud to be a part of, uh, of this. Reporting for State Magazine, I'm Mally Jones.